Hi, welcome to the demonstration on how to use my shop sign mock-up number three. The mock-up includes 10 photographs, all smart object ready. So let's jump straight in. Um, when you download the pack, you'll see that it comes with 10 different PSDs. Let's go with this one. Use the embedded profile, okay. And here's the mock-up. It's already got an image in there. Um, which is one I just put as a placeholder and we're going to change that to this logo I've got here. So the first thing I'm going to do is copy this logo, come into the layers, the smart object is here, double click on the smart object. This is the artwork that I placed there originally. Let's paste in and scale down, scale in the new artwork. So let's just scale that down. That should be about right. Let's turn off the old artwork. I'm going to save and close that artwork. And as you can see, the image is now placed in perspective over to replace the existing one that I put there originally. There are a few options in here. One is Gaussian blur that just puts a slight blurring on the logo because it's so crisp and sharp. Uh, the other is a gradient overlay that puts the shade in. Let's have a quick look at that now. So you can see if I take that shade off, it does look sort of slightly flat. So if you add that shading in, it's generated by this gradient here, it just makes it look a little bit more realistic. And the pattern overlay is to add just a little bit of noise. So we probably won't even notice the difference if I crank it right the way up, but it's added a little bit of noise into the shades to match the, the photography shades. So let's go with that and let's just zoom in, see if we can see that. You can see the noise applied here to try and match the noise of the image. Now that's probably too much. So if I just crank that back down to something about there, that's more realistic. Um, the blurring, let's just quickly go through that. It's just a very small amount of blurring, 1.7. If you wanted that less, if I switch that all the way down, you can see it's very crisp. So maybe something like one would do. And that's it. That's how you use the pack. It's the same for every other image. Just drop in your artwork, save, and you're done. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you soon. Bye.